Hey guys, so today I'm coming back with another review of a stick under $200. And today's is actually kind of a unique one. Um, I went into my local Sports Excellence and they had these CCM Trigger Team Customs. So pretty much what these are, are the Trigger 7 with the Trigger 7 Pro graphic. It's kind of a mix between the tech. It doesn't have the Sigmatex STP carbon fiber though, it has the Sigmatex just straight up. Um, and it's got the same blade core as the Trigger 7. So I'm really excited to give this a shot because it's 199 bucks, which is right on the cusp of not being in this video. Um, but I, for the value, I'm, I'm really excited. So we'll give it a shot and see how it performs. I'm actually really excited to try this out because it's got the P71 curve, which is like the Malkin Pro or the McKinnon Pro. I've never had a chance to use it, so it's pretty exciting. It's kind of like a P88 blade shape with like a P28 curve. So. The release on this thing is effortless. And I hit the tripod. Nope. Okay. This may not be like, well, I don't know if this makes me biased, but back when I was still playing, my last three sticks were triggers. I had the trigger ASY and the two trigger twos, so I'm kind of familiar with how they work. But now that it has the asymmetrical taper instead of the, the regular where it had the ribs on both sides, so it's a little bit different. Feels really So as you can see at the net, I put a second net so I can only shoot the top area there. Um, I'm just going to curl out of the corner and really try and utilize the quick release and get it off as fast as possible. Um, something I've noticed and I'm really enjoying is the shaft is concave on your forehand or I guess furthest away from you and it's convexed on the backhand so it fits really nicely into the palm of your hand. It also has a kind of groove for your fingers and it's it's really comfortable it's quite ergonomic as engineers would say so it's very nice The release 
is so fast and the blade is just stiff enough so it really flies off and you've got that tanginess or that like rebound effect but it's also just soft enough that you have a really good sense for where the puck is all the time you can really handle it like it's, it's really nice it's like the perfect balance of puck handling and shooting wow And shoot it right in the boy's chest. Better than hitting the glass. That's for sure. I almost a single puck today. Fake. Look across to it. it goes. Do two more and then switch it up. Oh, come on. All right, last one. Okay. All right, so before I move on to shooting on my, my strong wing there, I just wanna say thank you guys for the support on the last few videos, I, I really appreciate it and it'll allow me to keep doing this and I absolutely love coming out here and getting to shoot box and show you guys, you know, what's really worth your money and what's not. So I appreciate it and uh, just make sure if you're new here to like and subscribe and so you know when I put the next one out. Yeah, thanks guys, I'm just gonna go to the other side here. I need to get that up higher, but it's like the happy medium between getting it up tight in there or rimming it around. Like that, which is not good. I need to hit the net more. Little higher. So, in case anyone was wondering, this jersey is mine. Um, I played for the Vaughn Kings my minor midget year, so just thought I'd throw it on for old time's sake, you know. Nothing like starting the other team's breakout. That's all the way below the goal line on the other side of the ice. That's not ideal. <laughs> That's again, by the way. That's three times in four or five of my videos. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna need to get new pucks. It's four, four times, three times now, but in four videos, so. Gotta get new pucks. That kinda sucks. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Let's gonna pick up a puck from here, curl around, and uh, go on my off wing and Take a shot.
The stick performs extremely well in those kinds of shots. Like those little toe drag release shots. It's so nice. Also very nice on that. <laughs> wow. This is so nice. It's actually, I think, just for my style of play and the way I shoot, this is probably my favorite stick so far. And it's, it's, it's pretty close, but this is just so much better suited for how I like to play the game. I was gonna get that in the in the noggin. Whew. Shoot these last two, and then I might get out of here. So I'm just going to give my final thoughts and um, I was extremely impressed with this for 200 flat it is the most expensive stick that I will review in this series um, and, and quite frankly I do think it's worth it to buy this over the Warrior QR5 team that I reviewed uh, kind of a toss up between this and the Blackout this is a little bit more highly engineered like it's got that asymmetrical taper different shaft design um so you're that's kind of why the price is higher um but it's it's fairly similar but i'd still i'd pick this i i like the feel of the stick a lot more and i find the release is a little bit more effortless um but overall i think i think this is a fantastic stick for the price and even not for the price i just think this is a great stick in general um, but I, I do think, again, circling back, this is better than the STX Dally and HBR2. It's better than the Warrior QR5T. Kind of a toss up between this and the LX Pro, just cause, you know, LX Pro is a top of the line stick as well. Um, just a different kick point, so a different feel for different players. Um, but I, I do think this outperforms the Wrecker Element 1. Um, so yeah. Oh, but also, if you go into your store and they do have these, because I went into my local Sports Excellence and they had these, but they also offered something that I didn't know they do. Um, they said that they could do orders of a minimum order of six, and you can get these for even cheaper. It's like 180 bucks a stick, but you do have to get six of them. Um, so if you're looking, say you have kids who are going into their season, or you know they'll need sticks for the next two seasons or something, you can get an order of six, and that could last you for those for that season or two seasons depending on the level they're playing and the intensity um so, so there are some great options with this stick um the only issue that i have with it is it doesn't come with a warranty because it's classified as a pro stock stick but overall i would absolutely recommend this to anyone who's looking for that quick release and and that kind of player but and and also it just looks unbelievable like this is the nicest looking stick I've reviewed so far. And that, that shouldn't really matter when you're buying a stick, but it, it kind of does because it grabs your attention first. Um, but yeah, and let me know in the comments if there are any sticks you want me to review next or that I should look into because I saw a comment on the, like the Bauer League sticks and I tried to get them, but I went into the store and the only ones they had available were the ones that people were using on the shooting pad they had. So I'm not going to spend you know, 180 bucks on a used stick. And, uh, but yeah, let me know if you got any suggestions, but thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.